Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to D-Ray's Woodshop. I know the shop's a little different. We've changed environments a little bit. We've uh, sold our old house, so that means I get a new space. But yeah, welcome back. Welcome back to the new shop. Um, once I got things kind of set up, we'll do kind of, I guess, like a little shop tour video. But that's not what I'm here for today. I'm here for today to show you guys how to make some simple doors. Um, I made us an entertainment center for our new house back right before Thanksgiving. And uh, we had family coming in and I didn't have the time to do the doors properly, but I wanted them, you know, just doors there to kind of fill in that gap. So I threw up some temporary doors and I'm out here today and I want to walk you guys through how to make just some simple, I guess you could say rustic barn door style doors. Um, with just some simple 1 8 inch under laminate and just some one by pine that you can get from Home Depot. All you really need for it, like I said, under laminate, some of this one by, I think it's three inch, one by three inch pine, common pine, you could even use common if you wanted to. We're painting it white, you know, it's kind of the rustic theme. Um, a little wood glue, some clamps, if you want to go to clamp option. Uh, I went with, I was trying to get the doors knocked out, so I'm gonna go with a Brad nailer. I've already made a few of the doors, um, but I just, you know, wanted to walk you through making one door because it's rinse and repeat after you make the first one. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. It's good to be back. Um, I did want to bring you guys in here and show you one of the things that I did run into. Um, pay attention to what side you guys would like to be on the outside um, because I did see a good bit of tear out. along the edge that I cut the circular saw with. Luckily for me and for you guys, depending on what side you want to do it on, the three inch one by pine for the trim covers all of it. So basically what I do is I'll just sand that down and get the edge right. So we've got all our pieces, all of our under laminate cut to the right dimensions. And going forward, we'll just cut the trim that goes along the outside of the, of the door. And like I said, that will obviously depend on the size of the doors you need to cut. trim pieces see what those are we'll get to it had some audio issues so this audio in this video is going to be really echoey um, i apologize for that my lab mic that was working with my iphone i used it to record audio I thought it was recording yesterday but it was not so the audio of me talking live will be really echoey my mic isn't working so we'll just try to make make it do it i apologize for the echoiness in the background of you guys in the past in this video Give you like the perfect angle you need, it's 31.6. Um, that will get you from this corner to this corner. That's if you start at this point here and come down to this point here. So at this point, you need to reorient, reorient your door, decide what corner is going to or what top it, where your top is at. 
Make sure you go in, look at your project, decide how you want your angles and your door to come up, match those up, and just make sure you got the right side. It's really easy to come out here and just start nailing, but you need to pay attention to how you want your doors and what side you want your hinges on and, and all of that. So we'll go ahead, cut this angle, get our middle piece in, sand it down, and we're pretty much done. Always like to double check just to make sure. Put your angle here, grab the pencil, put the corner you want on the opposite side on this far rail here. Once you do that, grab your ruler, connect your lines to make sure it's at least pretty close. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, but. sanded down all our edges look good we've got the bottom side sanded all the little parts that were sticking out we've got them done um, so we're good now I mean this is the door this is it we've got I mean, we're probably gonna put hinges on one side and not on the other side and do that but this, this is it quick fast easy door that wood glue and this under laminate you will never have a problem with it it sticks fine does a great job so we're gonna get to some painting uh, I've always heard that sanding was the most boring part of woodworking, but I think I would rather sand than paint. What do you guys think? Would you rather sand or paint? Let me know below. to be obviously you know maintain that through the whole way so your hinges are even on your whatever you're making if you decide to make an entertainment center or a little coffee stand or whatever you're making these doors for just make sure if you have more than one that the hinges are in the same location so it looks uniform and even so we'll put the hinges on put the knobs on and then uh, we'll go hang it and I'll actually show you the, the whole entertainment center with all the doors on and everything like that so center uh, I wanted to bring you guys inside so you can see the whole entertainment center and see kind of what I was making the doors for um, like I had mentioned I already made the outer side casing um, I did that right before Thanksgiving we had a bunch of family coming in and I kind of wanted to get the entertainment center up and, and ready for that um, I think it looks great I think it turned out great you can see I don't know if you can see with the light shining in but we have an LED light that changes colors behind the TV I built this little stand that our TV can sit on, and then I found some, uh, I guess you would call it like that rustic barn wood type stuff. They sell it in packages at Home Depot. If I can find a link, I'll send that, or put that in the description below. Put that on the back side, get all four of our doors. My wife filled it in with a bunch of 
cool decorations and stuff like that. So I think it turned out really well. I added a piece of uh, trim along the board, like quarter round around the bottom part to kind of cover up the gap. Cause I made it in three pieces. I made each taller section as one piece and then this middle area is one piece and then put just a, a little gap filler to, to, to make it all even and uh, done. But the doors, the doors turned out great. I think they turned out really good. We haven't really filled anything in the bottom down there yet, but I think they turned out really well. Pretty simple, pretty cut and dry, pretty easy. Um, if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for future content. Glad to be back, glad to be making some videos again. Um, check me out on Instagram at D-Ray's Workshop. I'll have a link to that below too. And uh, check out these two other videos over here. They're from the past. Uh, my joiner restoration video has gotten a lot of attention. I think a lot of people enjoyed that. And then I'll link another video over here. So I guess that's going to be it, guys. Stay tuned for the next episode. And uh, yeah, as always, take it easy.